Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Today's video is going to be my Ulta haul and I went there, I think it was two days ago and um, I just want to show you guys what I got before I introduced them into like new makeup videos and whatnot. So um, this is going to be my haul and I just recently filmed before this one my um, back to school really quick drugstore um, makeup look and two of the products which were from All May and they look like this. These are amazing. Honestly, I didn't think I was going to like them that much. I wanted to try new makeup um, or actually I wanted to try a new makeup line and All May don't have very many products, if any, and um, I was looking for a good um, light coverage foundation concealer for those of you who are um, younger in high school, just out of high school, starting your freshman year of college, and um, needed some really good affordable products. So anyhow, I tried these and I love them and I recommend them. They come in a few different shades, and um, the ones that I got is the medium in both um, the foundation and the concealer. And I think this e is either a foundation or their um, tinted moisturizer because I feel like it's in between. The cool thing about this is that they have like new technology where um, I didn't even know until I opened it up and I swatched it on the back of the, my hand is that it comes off white almost like it looks like it would be gritty thanks to the sunshine there so it's like white and it's got some like gray little specks in there but when you really work it in this is going to be messy when you work it in it starts to turn the same color as my skin. Isn't that crazy? Look at this. It's absolutely amazing. So if you guys are close to my shade, I am either a natural beige, beige, um, in MAC I'm NC35, um, Studio Gear, I'm, I'm a wheat, NYX foundation, I'm um, natural beige medium is going to be perfect for you and it adjusts to your color and as you guys can see look it gives a really nice soft finish you can see more of my veins in this one and like less veins in this hand so there is coverage there and I just think it looks really really great so I will be using this on the days that I don't have very much time to sit there and actually blend really well and get all in there, you know, so I recommend those. What else did I get? Um, at Ulta, they have like amazing sales where it's like buy one, get one free, or buy two, get one free, or 50% off, and blah, blah, blah. So I forget, I think this was buy two, get one free for L'Oreal Paris, their hip line. So this is what I got. I got this eyeshadow little palette do jobby because I wanted to see how true it is to the one swipe um, eyeshadow look where supposedly if you take their little applicator applicator you take their little applicator and you do one swipe and then one swipe on your eye you'll have the dark to the light eyeshadow there I don't believe it I'll have to do a video just for this to show if it's true to what it's advertising um, I do think that you're going to have to blend afterwards and i um, going to need a really good eye primer for the eyeshadow to actually stick to your eyelid. I got another one of their cream liners from HIP and this is in the color black. I've had it in black and teal and the black I've had such a long time that it dried up so I have to throw that out and I love it. And it's comparable to MAC's fluid line but I think it's about 5 or $6 cheaper. Then another cool um, pencil, and I can't have enough of these because I always leave one in my purse and then when it's time to sit down and do my makeup I can't find a cool pencil so I added another one of these to my um, collection. Now I was running low on my Studio Gear um, foundation. Where is it at? It's hiding in here somewhere. Well, And I usually get it in wheat, and you can only get it at Sephora and Ulta, I think. I have never seen it anywhere else, and it looks like this. And I love it. And as you can see, I am, like, way down there. I don't even know. I think I'm almost seriously out of this stuff, but 
it's amazing and I love it and I think it's all on this side because it was laying flat so maybe I have about this much left and I picked it up put it in my cart and I was like okay I'm gonna get another one because I love it and um, of course I'd get a backup but I decided to put it back because I ran into Lorax um, Lorax natural performance foundation and this one I got in the color I got it in NP5 if you're wondering so if you did try wheat and it worked out for you with studio gear try this Lorac foundation um, I also wanted to get um, uh, I can't even speak English today I'm just like all over the place I've been running on like zero sleep I got this tinted moisturizer from Laura Geller and I got so many people asking me what is your favorite tinted moisturizer um, for the longest time it had to have been Let's see if I have it in here, because I just don't use it, because I, every time I put my makeup on, um, I've got so much crap in these drawers. I'm trying to think of who it is, who it's from. Uh, Laura Mercier. I always say her name wrong, and I'm sure there's going to be tons of you guys correcting me, because that's what you guys do best. Hello. Um... But I wanted to try this barely there. I tried it around my jawline, and it it was just perfect and it blended in so well and I got pretty good coverage for being a tinted moisturizer and this one is in the color medium and it looks like this I'll definitely have to use um, this product in a foundation routine or a face makeup routine to show you guys how I apply that and how it um, covers any of the flaws that I have in my face right now I've got um, really heavy duty concealer and then on top of that I have my foundation and very contoured so that's why my face kind of looks like airbrushed or flawless if you will and um, it was with the All May actually I used that as my foundation today so what else did I get guys? I just feel like I'm all over the place like I said for hair products it was buy two get one free for the Biolage or Matrix brand and I got these two from Biolage because I ran out of the color treatment or the purple label. This one's like their green label. The green label. And the other one was like for colored hair. And this one is um, for volumizing. So I got these two shampoo and conditioner. And I wanted to try their um, Matrix Vavoom hairspray. And this is their freezing spray. Um, it doesn't smell that great because I like the way the Victoria's Secret smells. But it gives me like a dirty texture where after I spray it, like the next day I have to absolutely wash my hair because it's just going to look gross and kind of matted. I don't know. It's kind of gross. Uh, but it's definitely um, a hairspray that if you're going to wash your hair tomorrow, then use it. But if not, use something else because there's tons of hairsprays out there where you can almost comb the hairspray out and you won't get white flakes and your hair um, wash can be extended an extra day so I'll let you guys know how this goes I have to start doing more hair tutorials because I know a lot of you guys wanted me to do like my um, my normal hair routine or regular hair routine and it's usually something like this and it's just after I get out of the shower I try to blow dry my hair use a serum um, and then put my extensions because I have my extensions right now and it's just for fullness because after having Jude, I felt like I turned into Baldy Locks. Not a cute look. And I think that's it. At, let's see here, I spent about $163 at Ulta for all this stuff. And I think the most expensive products were probably my foundations. The. Laura Geller one, the tinted moisturizer was 30 bucks, and the Lorax was $36 for this. But the coverage was amazing, so that's why I was like, mm, okay, I guess I'll I'll try it. Because I know the studio gear in wheat was $23, so I was like, Ugh, I don't know if I want to do that to myself, but why not? Let's try some new products together. So that's it for my haul, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!